Welcome back, friends and fans, to GPS4 PNR 2020. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Uh, as you probably noticed, guys, already on Steam, uh, the 2021 version of this game is already out. I'm actually not going to be getting it because I feel that it is just way too damn soon. I feel like they, like they barely released... 20, I know they, it was about like maybe a half a year, but they still could have done some improvements to this before releasing 2021. So I feel it's not really going to be anything different considering we're already in 2021. I think they're probably, I got to look into it. I'm sure it's just a couple updated things regarding coronavirus and maybe cyber attacks, things of that nature. I heard about it, but anyway, we're, I'm not going to worry about that. So we're going to, I know all you, I know some of you guys are like, oh, attack Ukraine. I'm not ready really necessarily, at least, uh, what do you call it, like popularity-wise for a big scale war. I feel that would drop very quickly as there are a couple more things I want to do in the country to kind of get it uh, unison, especially with the uh, the unions. I want to, but I feel like I have to be at 100% for this one to... Um, pretty much uh, create a single union like for everybody of course I could just go and ban everybody too that would work I guess <laughs> ban all the unions uh, no I'm no, not gonna do that so as we work on that I definitely in fact how do I yeah here we are allow a unique union under state control so that would merge everything into one. But I'm not really, we're not really ready to do that. We don't really got the popularity, much less the ready for the backlash that is gonna happen. So I did try it once off cam and oh my God, it was a complete and utter disaster. What we are gonna do is we are at 94%. Uh, we're gonna complete, we're gonna reunite the union right here. We got that little breakaway, and then we got this. We're just going to merge it all into one right here. So uh, Lithuania is definitely going to be my next target for war. Because then it's kind of like I'll be, if I can come around, maybe I can even get Poland. If I can encircle Ukraine like this and come at them from both sides, I feel that'll definitely be a, an easier war to split up their defenses. So my plan is... Um, Maybe we can come down through Lithuania, take out Poland, and then swing around like this, and then have two fronts on their on their border. And then we'll just uh, let's see, what's this one? Mold Moldova? Oh, that's Romania. So maybe we can even get Romania in the mix and complete up to here. And then I guess we can just leave the UN, I suppose. And then once we declare war on Germany, you know, that'll that'll be it. Of course, I could always vote yes to military action on myself. Uh, that's also an option. If you guys want me to do that, please let me know in the comments when we get to that point. But we're going to go ahead and let's see, where's the capital down here? Do I have any troops stationed at this border? I do. That would also be a very quick route. I think I should probably build some, you know what, let's go preemptive, let's build some um, refugee camps just on the border. If it is unoccupied for a month, it'll be disbanded. Oh. Basically, okay, so these are just like, yeah, temporary. If no one's there in a month, it'll automatically be dismantled, so... We'll go ahead and get these along the border in preparation for our attack. I know they're going to be mostly flooding out, probably through this way. All right, we'll go ahead and get maybe one more, no, two more over here. We'll get one right there, and then we'll get one over here. Mostly I'll buy all the major cities. So we'll go ahead and let those construct. I don't think it takes that long. Yeah, it takes 14 days. 
So we'll begin our attack in two weeks. October is a good time to start a war, methinks. Meanwhile, we can position our troops. Let's get you over here. Uh, fighters. It's also giving us bonus points for humanitarian, which is good. Let's get some... Wow, only 38 soldiers at that base. Go through there, we'll get some tanks. We should be able to just kind of like highlight stuff that's out here on the field, steal and move it in. Where the hell are all my soldiers at? 39? Be like, seriously, where the hell are all my soldiers? That is so weird. Law on family allowance. The decree takes effect as of. Okay, very good. Opening of pipeline. Yes, we will definitely go to that. I wonder what the hell happened to all my soldiers. Maybe they're in a. Uh... Are they in the city? Are they in Riga? Oh yeah, they definitely want to rebuild the city. That's so weird. Are they? Oh my god. Okay, I have 2 million reservists. I only have 5,000 actual careers. What the hell happened to all my military? How do I have 2 million reservists and only 5,000 actual troops? Well, 6,000. Career social economy. So I have 17,000 actually. 2 million numbers of reservists. Can I call up the order of general mobilization this act has significant economic harm as many people have to leave their jobs to no longer work for the country oh here it is okay call up the reservist yeah that's <laughs> that's obviously if i'm gonna um you know when i go to world war status God, I didn't know I had that many. I did not know I did not have that many fucking soldiers. I guess I must have lost a lot of them. All right, how's our construction? Okay, so. Watch out for unemployment. Our current situation, and let's do all we can to fight this plague. A meeting request from Kazakhstan. Okay. The decree takes effect as a. All right, there we go. We're at ninety-eight percent now, which is good. <clears throat> so definitely enough war, just definitely enough justification, you know, to let's get all my missile launchers. I'll call up whatever soldiers I can get over there. I guess. Oh, nice.
We have a $644 billion cash surplus and accumulation in the Treasury Reserve. Yay, we get 0% interest a year. Very nice. Inauguration, public state. Because we have a pipeline done. A small That's favor. A small favor to ask. I know it's rather delicate, but you see, my nephew has just been dismissed for economic reasons and is currently unemployed. He's had hard times and despite his efforts, he hasn't found anything interesting. He's rather gifted to sculpture, you know? And it's not easy to get a job nowadays. I was wondering if you could lend him a hand with that. Hmm. I could, and it could lead to a scandal, but eh, sure, why not? Okay, well, that's good. Our CO2 emissions are low. That's nice. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> As our military moves in position, just waiting for the refugee camps to finish, and they're going to be done very shortly. They've only got 33 fucking troops. Unbelievable. Hmm. Let's say one million dollars? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna be invading them right now anyway. Alright, well I may have to drop commandos then guys. I, ju I just may have to. These are pretty pathetic numbers. Good morning. All right, what do you want, Kazakhstan? What do you want? You want to purchase milk from me? Uh, okay. Um, price per million. My sale price is two thirty-eight. There's a. Uh, can we bump you up a little bit, sir? Maybe closer to your actual purchase price. Okay, I'll take it for three. All right, deal. Sure. Let's go ahead and offer him some. The national defense does not have enough men to fulfill its missions. I think that a well-conducted recruitment campaign should attract the new recruits we need. Sounds good. How do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Budget NBC. Contact the black market, dismantle, produce nuclear missiles in secret, leave the non proliferation treaty. Manage arm embargoes, construction budget. I don't know. I don't know how we do that. Compensation for catastrophes. Uh oh. President, we received figures from all employment. National unemployment rate is at 6%. Ooh, very good. Very, very good. How is our inflation, by the way? Mm, starting to spike back up a little bit. It's at 9.3. That's not good. Inflation, okay. Well, it's just because unemployment still, so. Alrighty. <clears throat> I think all of our troops are in position now. Refugee camps are set up. Here we go. Attack this country. Yep, we're declaring war on Lithuania. Here we go. We are going to violate.
I don't know. We'll see what we can do, guys. If my people will get into the fucking country and get in there. All right, so go like that, click that. Yes, we know the war. Break down diplomatic relations. Yes, I understand that. Thank you. So missile launchers. No, tanks to the main city. We'll come at them from all angles. Oh, yep, there's the warmongering. And there's the strikes. Strike comes from people will protest against the war. Unlimited, Mr. Pride, huge pacifist movements are clearly developing across the country, and unlimited strike is about to start the mess. Stop the conflict with Lithuania. Oh, uh, we will. So as we take the capital, we'll stop it right away. That's 18,000 tanks. Let's see if we can get them in there. I'm telling you anything to stop your warfare operations against the police and bring home the truth. Trust me, you know what the people are pressure this course of action. Uh oh, break down diplomatic communications with the United States. Uh oh. USA declares war on us. We're done. <laughs> Uh oh, guys, our popularity is falling fast. We gotta hurry up and end this war. Let's speed it up a little bit. Just close all these notifications. Lithuania surrendered. Well, that was easy. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> Alright, there. Y'all can stop. The war's over. All we had to do was just surround the city. Peace Treaty. Oh, we're going to integrate. Great disapproval by Ukraine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there. Oh my god, I didn't order that big of a mobilization. All right. Everybody, and I mean everybody, return to base. Across the whole damn country, return to base. All right, that's it, and our popularity is back up to 87. Tourism professions complain. There. All right, guys, we did it. We took Lithuania, although we've completely lost. Uh... The national defense does not have enough. Yes, I know, but I don't know how to do a recruitment campaign. How do I do recruitment? I don't know. Uh, no, nothing right there about it.
University Hospital. I honestly have no idea what this even does. Order a poll from the National Census Bureau. No. Nomination, change election, change the link state third, modify the head salary. Country, maybe? Hold a secession referendum for the region. Change the country's flag, change the name of the country, change the national anthem. Do we play the national anthem? I don't hear anything. Alrighty, now let's see what damage we've done to our economy. Oh yeah. Because now we've taken on their unemployment as well as added to our own. But it's a good thing we did build those refugee camps in advance. So, at least that'll help. Alrighty, well, now we can get to work rebuilding once again. Let's see here. What is our G and H? What do we need? Well, education, health, and women's rights. Well, I guess we can take care of health on a personal degree. How much money do we actually have that we could spend? So, okay, so roughly, I only want to spend about maybe, yeah, I don't even want to spend that much. Okay, that's good. And maybe we can bump their salary up and hire some more, we'll hire some more workers. Okay, confirm that, and then we'll build maybe some. Demand military. Infrared. Yeah, I'm against that. Forest file national one point one four. And we'll give them one point one five billion. Uh oh. Okay, so that's million. Yeah, fuck it. Confirm there. All right, so we definitely have a lot of available manpower, almost almost a million people. So we can go ahead and build some more hospitals. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of that. Build some more social centers. These are cheap. This could actually, yeah, this is good. This will eat up a good amount of manpower right there. Okay, let's see here. Let's dial that down because I do need. Okay. Eternity hospitals. Oh boy, those are expensive. So yeah, I take care of my people. Uh, we'll build 19 and psychiatric hospitals. Not that many, because I don't want to spend that much money. Try and keep it under a billion. All right. All right, that'll take care of health. It's a highway, so we definitely want to, let's see here, where's infrastructure, transportation, there we go, construction, the main highway, let's go from here to here, okay, and we'll spend about five, 5.6 manpower allocates on health, so 
Okay, we'll get that road going. That gives them a main road from right there to there. And then we'll get a, another road going from here to here, and then from one to there, and then from there to here. Uh, cancel that. Oops. Can I just cons No, I can't. Damn it. Okay, I can confirm that. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go from there to there. Okay. Confirm that. Confirm. Okay, and then we'll go from here to here, kind of create a nice big loop. <laughs> There we go, we'll confirm that, and then we'll get this city connected to this one right here, there. Confirm that. There, at least now, Lithuania kind of has a way around everywhere. And actually, I think I'll build a line from here to here as well. There we go. There we go, there's some good infrastructure right there. Everybody's all linked up to the main highway for the most part. Alrighty, now then, what else? Uh, housing, I'm sure, well, still no dilapidated housing. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can't even afford that, but we do want to build some new houses. But I also don't want to eat up all my manpower, so confirm that. Uh, let's see here. Family. Population. Whoa. Our population has actually gone down. We're at a 0 0.08 negative percent growth density. Fertility rate, birth rate, birth rate's going up. Contraceptive, God. Child mortality is going down. Life expectancy is 76 years old. Urbanization rate. Immigration out of human development. GDP. Alrighty, let's see here. What else can we do? Actually, we can pump some more money into... So, they're actually out of bad balance, consumption, production, subsidize. Manpower, 128,000 people. Oh, okay, they don't need that much. <laughs> Style that back down a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's good. 146,000, so we definitely started off at only 55,000, so we've definitely got improvements there. Bananas, oh, bananas definitely need some help on that. Their employment, manpower is at six. Six, pe six people in bananas. I, I don't see like a in K or an S or Oh god. <laughs> Bananas, you need some help here. Now I have twenty nine people. <laughs> okay, bananas really aren't that good of a thing, are they? All right, well, guys, I'm going to go through this off camera. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. So we're at 100%. I might actually be able to, um, I might actually be able to do the union in the next episode. Just might.
if I can take the hit. But until then, let's go ahead and see what they got. Resolution at the, uh, yeah, I know. Knuckle problem. Let's close the it. Terrorist organization has not a All right. Fallen number of police officers. We lack manpower in our field and aren't able to ensure quality service for our citizens. You should do something. Well, I mean... I have hiring, so, you know... I guess I can up these up real quick before we go, guys. There, they get full everything. And an extra hundred, holy shit, that's a lot. Fourteen billion, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and the police, they deserve a little bit more. We're still at a 2% access, which is not bad. Not too bad. But we're getting there. But don't forget, I can always raise taxes. <laughs> so, that's definitely, definitely something I could do to get a little bit more money. But until then, friends and fans, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe out there and stay swagged. Thank you.